morning, Gators. Today is April 22nd. I am William. And I'm Jarrell. Hey, Jarrell, did you hear the results about the uh, jelly, peanut butter? Yeah, Clear Falls only had 652 jars of peanut butter. I guess they did not see that one coming. Yeah, uh, they, they really caught in the jam. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> this week, we're celebrating Earth Day with spirit themes every day. Tomorrow, wear a recycled item, something you make or something vintage. On Wednesday, just like a tree-hugging hippie, and remember to turn out the lights when you leave a room. On Thursday, dress to honor your family's culture and teach your family to conser conserve at home. On Friday, go green, wear all green, and donate to, uh, at lunch to keep Dickinson beautiful. The theater department is performing their production of August Osage County for the final time today at 7 p.m. Make sure to catch this awesome show. It is your last chance. If you are interested in playing in the next season of tennis, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow before school at 7 and after school at 2.35 in room G101. The Dickinson Diamond Spring Show will be Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. Come and see them shine bright like some VVSs. The annual Area 22 Special Olympics Spring Games is taking place here in San Vitanza Stadium this Saturday from 8 to 5. If you're interested in volunteering at this event, visit the information website using the QR code shown on screen. The Dickinson High School Volleyball Program will be hosting a spring co-ed volleyball tournament on Monday, April 29th, after school in the competition gym. This is open to students and staff. Go by Coach Frias' room in 211 to pick up a registration packet and get more information. The cost to register a team is $5 per player. All registration and forms with money will be due to Coach Frias by this Thursday, April 25th. Get signed up today. Do you have an interest in writing? Do you have a strong opinion you'd love to write about? Would you love to build your portfolio? See your name in print or earn a letterman? If so, you should join the staff of the Swamp Diaries, Dickinson High School's newspaper. Students interested in joining newspapers should contact Ms. Booth in room J205. As a reminder, Light Windows Open Doors is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. with a quiet study environment and helpful tutors. And as always, no munchies or drinks in the libraries. Attention staff, if you have any interesting stories or information you want on Gator Nation News, make sure to send them to our email at gmmedia at dickinsonisd.org. Remember, the choir is having a pop show on May 17th, and our Gator Band will be having a concert on May 18th. Come out and show your support for our Dickinson Gators. That's it for this week. See you next week on Gator Nation News. Hey Dickinson High School students, are you tired of school's constant grind? Are you bombarded by countless stacks of homework? Do you need a break from your teachers? Well, you need a trip to Greece. The art department is taking a trip to Greece in June of 2020. And don't worry, you don't need to be an art to go on this trip. Beautiful sights, magnificent museums, all inspiring artworks. Learn about ancient mythological figures. Walk in the footsteps of ancient Greeks at Acropolis. Interested parents and students should plan to attend the mandatory informational meeting on Tuesday, April 23rd at 6 p.m. in E101. And hurry up, there is limited space available for first-come, first-served opportunity. Greece 2020. You won't want to miss out.